Okay, I just wanted to hop on here just a minute and give you a quick calculator um, lesson on making sure as you put in um, the law of cosines, it can be pretty difficult. And so okay. sometimes that's because um, just the way we input it into a calculator, you have the same, the correct setup as far as your um, solution, as far as your math goes, but you have it inputted in the, into the calculator correctly. Okay, so what I want to do is um, I'm going to go over here to my document camera and apparently I'm still going to be here. That's fine. Um, so I took two uh, portions of two problems from the notes yesterday. So on the first problem we did, this was the first one we found. And so the way that I usually put this into my calculator is first of all, I do the top. So 14.1 squared minus 13.9 squared minus 8.5 squared. Okay, 0.1 squared minus 13.9 squared minus 8.5 squared. And then I press enter. Okay, and I get that value. And um, you should get negative 66.65, okay? Now, from there, I use my answer key, and I just want to introduce this little key down here to you. It's A and S. If you're using a TI on a Casio, there is this key also. But if you do second and your subtraction sign, it uses the answer that you got previously, and so it uses all the digits, and it makes your answers so much more accurate, okay? So as we do this, I'm gonna use that key. So now I'm gonna divide my answer, so negative 66, I'm going to do my answer key. So I'm going to divide, okay, so I have the answer previously above it, and now I want to open up a set of parentheses, okay, and then the negative 2 times the 13.9 times the 8.5, and the reason I open up a set of parentheses is I want to divide the entire number by that. So divide or let me get it, divide, open up a set of parentheses, negative two times 13.9 times 8.5, and then close parentheses, okay? So at that point, and then press enter, and you should get 0.2821, something like that, okay? Now, remember, this is the cosine of alpha, Okay, or the cosine of A, cosine of angle A. And so that means that we need to take the inverse cosine of both sides. So to take the inverse cosine, you wanna take second, and then cosine, and then second, and then answer. And what that allows you to do is it takes the previous answer above it, again, with all of those digits. So your, your, um, your answer is so much more closer to accurate. Okay, and so you should get angle A to be, so inverse, so second, cosine, and then second, and then um, answer, or it's your negative sign. And so you should get A to be 73.62 degrees, okay? So anytime you're finding the angle, Okay, the cosine of A, cosine B, cosine C. Um, this is how I do it. Now, if you are somebody that inputs this into your calculator as you wanna do it in the entire thing, what's gonna have to happen there is if I go back up to my problem, you're gonna have to put all of the top in parentheses, then press your divide button, and then do all of the bottom in parentheses. Okay, if you're that person that inputs it all together. Okay, so all of the top in parentheses and then divided by all of the bottom in parentheses and then take your inverse. Okay, so that is if you're finding angles. So if you're finding um, sides, okay, if you're finding sides, let me pull this down so you can see it under, there we go. Actually, let me push it over. Getting situated here. I've come home now for my document camera, it's important. Okay, so anytime you're finding sides, we gotta get my calculator in the, anytime you're finding sides. Okay, um, maybe if I switch this side. I'm sorry, I'm still, I just wanna make sure that you can see my calculator. Um, oh, that works beautifully. 
Okay. So anytime you're finding a side, um, this is where you have this long, and this is from number two, okay, from the second example in your notes. So the way that I do this, and again, you can put it all in at one time, but you've got to add parentheses, okay? So I start out and do 6.8 squared plus 2.4 squared. So 6.8 squared plus 2.4 squared. Okay, and then I press enter, okay, and get that value. And then I have my answer, and then I put a plus sign and open up a set of parentheses. And then I do negative two times 6.8 times 2.4, and that's point, not multiplication and then times the cosine of 10.5. And then th your cosine is going to open up a set of parentheses maybe on your calculator, and so you'll have to close it twice. Sorry, my nose is running. Okay, so I have my 52. So now I want to answer and then add, open up a set of parentheses, negative two times 6.8, times 2.4 times the cosine of 10.5.5. Close and close. So you should get then b squared is the 19.906 something. Okay. And then from there you want to remember and take the square root of that. So second and your square root button wherever that is and then second and answer. Use that answer key, especially if you're going into science, you're definitely going to want your error to be small, and so you want to make sure to do that. Okay, so you should get side B to be 4.46. Okay, so those are the two ways that you're doing, um, that you're going to be doing the law of cosine, so hopefully um, that calculator um, example helped you as you input Okay. Again, if you're somebody who puts it all in all together, you're definitely going to have to put some uh, parentheses in there okay, to maintain order of operation. So, Okay, hope you have a great day.